Hello everybody, Steve Graham is president of the Las Vegas Police Protective Association. Uh, coming at you with a message about a, a topic that's been affecting station after station. Uh, your board members have been talking to us about it. We've been trying to talk to executive staff about this. And that is the, can I stop people for jaywalking? Should I stop people for jaywalking? Or something similar, pedestrian and roadway. Okay. Um, when we look back and we look at where we're at now and we look back before, um, right now, we can all acknowledge uh, from the media briefs and from the sheriff, traffic fatalities are skyrocketing. Uh, pedestrian uh, accidents are ticking up. Uh, and we believe that there's a direct correlation from the legislation that was passed uh, in the past going after the civil infraction as opposed to keeping the traffic infraction the way it was where you could get a warrant for your arrest. Um, it seems that, in my opinion, it seems there's no deterrence. It doesn't matter now. What's the worst you're going to do to me? Take my ticket and send it to a collection agency? I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. I don't think too many people out there that are hardened criminals or that uh, have no care for the traffic laws are going to worry about their credit score being affected. Quite conversely, they probably could reach out to a debt consolidation group and they could fix it for them. Uh, one of the best deterrences was the fact that if people didn't take care of it, if people would get tickets, that they would possibly go to jail for the warrant. That's not in play anymore. Uh, we look at the jaywalking uh, statute. And while it is on the books right now, be very clear, you are allowed to stop people and, and cite people for jaywalking if necessary. Uh, but folks during that legislative session tried their best to make it to where jaywalking was nothing that you could stop people for. Folks like Dallas Harris wanted to support that you were stopping people, not because of the jaywalking, but by some other pretext. Uh, but the truth is, is that we were and still are concerned about our pedestrians and our citizens in the valley getting run over uh, and possibly killed because there's no deterrence to them jaywalking anymore. I myself have seen, unfortunately, people jaywalking right in front of police officers' cars as they're sitting at a stoplight. And we're not doing anything about it. And this was during the time when we couldn't stop people for jaywalking until the bill took effect and it allowed us to again. Um, but right now, the question continues to come from area command to area command is, my captain wants stats, my captain, my chain wants numbers. So they tell us, go stop people. But then they say, don't stop for jaywalking. But hey, stop for pedestrian and roadway. Make, maybe that's better. I can tell you I've had conversation with the undersheriff. And I brought this very point up during a board meeting to the undersheriff. And what he told me was, no, I don't want people stopping folks for jaywalking. It could lead to an officer involved shooting. It could lead to an injury of an officer. So he doesn't want it done. However, I asked, what about pedestrian and roadway? And he paused. And we had a little bit more discussion about, well, why could we do that, but not jaywalking? Pedestrian roadway could still result in an officer involved shooting, could result in an injury. It's not clear, and that's the problem. And here's what I want to tell our officers, our members, until we can get some clarification. I'm not discounting the captains, but I'm going to tell you this. I've had conversations with the undersheriff. He doesn't want people to stop for jaywalking. So you know what? Don't do it. And if I'm going to give you any advice, as someone who's been on this job for over 25 years, and your president who's looking out for you, making sure you stay employed, you don't get in trouble, I wouldn't stop him for anything that would even remotely relate to jaywalking. Pet in a roadway, none of it. Don't risk yourself. Don't risk your job. Don't risk discipline. Let us continue to work with executive staff and try and figure out how we can get some clarification for you all. Because right now there is none. And until we do, err on the side of caution. Do what you have to do to protect yourselves. And let's wait and see what kind of clarification we can get from the agency and the executive staff. Until then, until we can get some, I would say just stop all ped stops in the roadway until we can find some clarification. I need to look out for you all. Our job at the PPA is to make sure you are taken care of, that you are safe, that you are operating properly, and that you don't get in trouble. Because one captain says, go do something. And then if it goes sideways, you're cast out on an island by yourself. We don't want it. So my advice... 
from the PPA. Don't stop people for jaywalking. Don't stop people for petting the roadway. Wait till I can clarify with the executive staff on what they want to see from you, and then we can go from there. Until we get some clarification, just know that we keep working and we keep trying to get these things addressed for you. If you have questions or concerns, call us, call me, reach out to David, uh, but we're going to continue working on this to get you some clarification. Thank you for your membership. Stay safe out there. Watch each other's back, and we will talk to you soon.